buns, good protein, right? Yes, happy National Cheeseburger Day. We are celebrating with one of my favorite chefs. I would say maybe the favorite. Patrick McGee is here, and he is from Perlo. And I have to ask you then the question, my friend. If you were to name a burger after yourself, what would it be? Ooh, that's a tough question. Um, the nervous energy. The nervous energy. Is that just for right now? Just for right now. <laughs> All right, I love it. Well, we're celebrating. I would go with the... I have so much fun with Mick in my name that I could do the Mick Saucy. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, growing up Italian and uh, Irish, we were, uh, you know, kind of best of both worlds. So yes. The, uh, the uh, uh, interchange between the two is always very interesting. I so. love it. Well, we're going to have fun today. Okay, so look at these juicy burgers. And this is something you don't see behind the scenes. People are wandering in because they smell the deliciousness happening, and they're going to be That's our right. taste testers. I love it. They're just meandering in. All right, Chef, what are we doing? Well, when we thought about uh, cheeseburgers, I come from the East Coast, so I thought yes. about good East Coast cheeseburgers. So All there's right. a couple of things, and this is kind of how we do it. It's on uh, what we have, a secret little menu at Perlo. Ooh, okay, so, uh, this, so this is a secret menu, so you have to be in the know. Not anymore. Okay. But All it right. was. So you have to start with a good potato bun. So we've got a good potato bun from Grand Central Bakery. Now, what's the way to get these extra crispy? Like, Because well, I'm noticing these are crispy buns. Right. So what we like to do is we put them on our griddle. So we cook the burger on a flat top as well. Okay. And then we also cook and toast the buns on the griddle as well. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, so good potato bun, right? The start is with good <clears throat> buns. And then what you want to do is, so we have a little bit of our secret sauce. Oh. So, so will you divulge what's in the secret sauce? We make our own mayonnaise, and then we actually make our own hot sauce. So oh. there's a little bit of our own hot sauce in here. So it comes from a bourbon pickle, and we use a little bit of jalapeno and a little bit of cucumber. Everything's better than a little hot sauce. It is. Yeah? So then uh, we've got a little bit of ketchup here from the Portland Ketchup Company. So I just like to uh, squirt a little bit on here. Nice. A little bit like that. And then we have, so the other trick we like to do, uh, okay. we sear the uh, burgers on the flat top, melt the cheese right over the top, Ooh. and then some of that pickle that we were talking about. The perfect bubbling is happening. Now right. I have to mention, he works with his beautiful wife. How is she doing? Great. They're both great in the kitchen. I think she might be watching right now with baby Oliver. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, and a baby. Yeah. And, how, and you have how many kiddos? Three. Three kids. Do they get in the kitchen with you and you give All them some instructions? All of them have gotten in the kitchen, yeah. Who's so. the, can, you, can you tell us who the best... Uh, mini chef well, is? Bella's the oldest at 18, and she's turned into quite the baker. She okay. does a lot of uh, her own uh, breads, like zucchini bread. Wow! Yeah, she's really good. Oh my gosh, that makes me feel awful. Okay, what's so, next? Anyway, you want to have a little bit of pickle. So, um, being that we're in the last of the tomato season, mm -hmm. quick, I like to have a When does bit it of... officially end? When would you say don't go there? Uh, maybe a couple of weeks. Okay. Once the weather really changes. Like mid-October? Yeah, it's like real hot out, you know, or, well, not real hot out, but it's warm out right now. Yeah. So once we start losing that midday heat is when things are going to really change. Okay. So we've got this gorgeous heirloom tomato. That's a big one. And then okay. a little bit of uh, salt on there. Now. Nice. Yes. Okay. Bacon. We have to have bacon on there. <laughs> So, this is so great. How the, many layers do we have at this point? Um, a we got couple. a couple. That's good. So we go here. Right. Some people like to put lettuce on theirs, but uh, back on the East Coast, really, it's just the uh, bacon, really no tomato, but then the hot sauce and then the ketchup. And then okay. we're going to put it right on top. Now, do there. you smash this down? How do you get I'll take my taste testers. Nate, you guys want to come in here? Okay. So. So you can. how do we, do you want to get your, you want to smash it? You want I mean, to cut, cut it, it up daintily? Uh, no, what do you, what do you guys it. prefer? No. Um, I'm just going to go for okay, it. Okay, Nate wants to. <laughs> well, now you got to notice here too real quick. This is the double. Oh, no. oh who wants, I think Nate wants the double. All right, we'll get the lady. The single, here you go, doll. All right, you guys, this is made with love. Oh. Wait, same time, same time. All right, here we go. Th on the count of three. One, two, Three. Oh, yes. Get in there. <laughs> so juicy. So good. What do we say? Thank you. You love it? Yes. <laughs> Happy awesome. National Cheeseburger Day. This is great. What would you guys name a burger after yourself? The Nate Burger. <laughs> so creative. What would you name yours? Oh, gosh. I'm, um... I don't know, the Burger. Okay, I love that. Oh, Chef, thank you so much. And where can everybody find you at Perlow? Uh, we are at 4605 Northeast Fremont, online at perlowpdx.com. Uh, be sure to come check us out. Jazz Brunch on Saturday and Sunday now. Oh, you added. Very Yeah, we nice. added another day. So things have been going really well. Cool. And then regular Tuesday through uh, Saturday dinner service tonight is all, right. all Night Happy Hour. Thank you so much for being thank here you. and celebrating National Cheeseburger Day with all of us.